Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone. And I am back from the other dimension. I died. Um, it wasn't actually intentional. I was in the other dimension doing all sorts of stuff, basically living off of chance cubes, trying to find my way back. Um, I decided not to cheat. A lot of you said in the comments to cheat. Some of you said try to use the chance cubes. Um, so I was going to give it a go, and then I died. So, what we're going to do is we're actually going to head back there, but this time, I'm going to make a matter transmitter, and I'm going to make it properly so that we don't run into the same problem that we had. I want to be able to get back home. That's kind of an important thing. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and make one of those. And then I need some iron and some redstone. Here we go. So we'll make the matter transmitter. There we go. That should be it. That should be all I need, I think. Um, let's see here. Oh, and actually, I might need a dialing device. Do I need other stuff? I don't really know. Um, let me grab some armor and stuff as well. Because there's a little generator receiver. Yeah, I better make a dialing device too. Uh, let's see, dialing device. So, we'll need a couple of sticks, we'll need more redstone. I'll need two redstone torches. And... Here we go. Another one of these machine blocks. And then we should be good. Uh, there we go. Okay. I think that's going to be everything I need. I'm pretty sure. I'm not like 100% sure, but I'm relatively sure that's that's going to be all I need. Um, so we'll have the matter, the matter transmitter. We'll have the dialing device. And I think that'll be good. All right. So now we're back. And... I gotta figure out where I died. I think it was over this way. I'll show you all the stuff I got. I <laughs> I got so much random stuff uh, from loot bags and from uh, chance cubes. There's even a wither that appeared from a chance cube that I ended up having to kill. I was hoping to do it off camera, but I couldn't, or I was hoping to uh, record it, but I couldn't get my recording software up fast enough. Um, so, I ended up killing it off camera, but uh, you can see the results of some of the chance cubes. There's like obsidian all over the place. I died somewhere, and I'm not really sure where. I thought that this would show me a death point, but I... Uh, uh, I don't know. Somewhere I died, and I'm not... I thought I was in here, but I must not have been. I was... Oh, man. So somewhere I've got a, uh, a tombstone with stuff in it. Um, maybe I was over here? I don't really know. There's a bedrock block. I mean, it should be relatively easy to find my stuff since the world is completely flat. A tombstone should stick out kind of like a sore thumb. But I'm going to look around a little bit here, guys, and uh, then I'll come right back to you. All right, guys, I am back, and I'm not finding what I'm looking for, but um, I am going to go ahead and set up the uh, matter transmitter and the dialing device here. So let's just move that stuff out of the way, like so, and we'll do that, and... This should fill everything up uh, from our little block, our uh, windmill thing there. I still need to find my my gravestone, though. I'm not sure where it went. I'm not even, honestly, I'm not even sure if there is gravestones in the mod pack. I think there is. I'd be pretty surprised if there wasn't. 
Um, and I know it's an area where I've already been because I definitely died in this dimension somewhere. I'm just not sure where. So it would be an area of the map that's already uncovered. Beyond that, I really don't know. Um, but let's take a look and just see here. If we, this thing should have power now. So, uh, here we go. We want to dial that. And I think if I start, oh no, that teleports me to right here. That doesn't do me any good. Um, there we go. That should, this one should teleport me home. No, it doesn't. Can it not teleport me back home? Oh, because there isn't a receiver at the other dimension. Oh. Well, that's problematic. Hmm. So I won't be able to get back home. Even if I have the... Oh, I should have thought of that. That's really, really unfortunate. Um. Okay. Well, I guess what I'll do is I'll try and find my tombstone. I'm going to die again. Because I don't really have much choice. And then, uh... Ah, uh, that's, that's too bad. That's just a, a needless death, essentially. Um, oh well, lessons learned, I guess. What can you do? So anyway, I've got some stuff to do, guys. I'll come back to you when I'm back home. Alright guys, I am back. And I was not able to find my stuff. I looked and looked. I've been over this dimension. I think, I'm st I'm kind of thinking that there is no gravestone. Um, I'm sure some of you who have played this mod pack more than I have will be able to tell me. Uh, but I think my stuff may have just de despawned. So, um, it's not the end of the world. We really didn't lose anything too important. The only thing we lost was our Tinker's sword and then our uh, mithril armor. But that's not the end of the world. I'm sad about the sword. The rest of it's kind of whatever. I lost a portal gun, but I've got 50 billion of them. Most of my stuff was in chests. Uh, so, like, we've got uh, a bunch of resources in here. We've got... Uh, I found some other good stuff. We've got in here one of our pickaxes. Uh, there's another one of our pickaxes here as well. Uh, oh, I think we lost our... I think we lost our Tinker's Axe, too. Yeah, that's okay, though. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go home, and I would just starve myself, but that would take forever. So I'm just going to use the kill command, um, and we'll spawn back here. So, oh well. Um, now, I will be able to get back there. I need to put, I need to add a dialing device to this, like, ASAP. Apparently, so let's take a look. Um, I'm gonna need some ender pearls, and I don't have any right now, which is a bit of an issue. Um, can I make ender pearls anyway? Let's just take a look. Ender pearl powder, maotite ingots, and enderman essence. Oh, and ender pearl dust will actually make one. So, oh, I don't have enough. Okay. Alright, well, I guess we'll just use the mob farm. That's fine. Um. Yeah. Let's just do that. There is one Enderman in here. Actually, you know what? Do I have any... Anything that has looting on it, by any chance? Not really. I don't. Okay. Yeah, I guess we'll just use the stick. It'll be fine. Um, man, that's a setback. 
We will want to get back there though, because we do have a pretty we we do have a, a you know quite a bit of good stuff back there. Um, and I suppose I could always plant Ender Pearl seeds. Although we actually we have wow, that's not bad actually. We only need one more Ender Pearl, and then we're set. Um, everything else for that receiver we can make. And I think I think I'm going to hold off on making it for now. Uh, but we will definitely make it again. So let's just put this stuff in here. Let's grab our Ender Pearl seeds, wherever they are. There we go. And let's just get... Actually, is it possible to make Ender, Ender Pearl dust? How do you make that? Smelt an Ender Pearl. That'll make eight. Yeah, I don't want to smelt my Ender Pearls. I need... I need my Ender Pearls. And I need nine of them, I believe, to make... Yeah, so that's not going to work. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just plant some Ender Pearls... Or some Ender Pearls... Ender Lily Seeds? I guess we'll just plant these right here. Um, and we'll let some of them grow. If nothing else, that'll work. Uh, we've also got a machine frame already made. So I do have basically everything I need to make the uh, matter receiver that will go over here. I just need one more ender pearl to do it. So I'm just going to wait for an enderman to spawn over there, guys, and then I'll come right back to you. All right, guys, I am back, and I finally got what I need to make another ender pearl. I got a little bit of ender pearl dust from the other guy over there. So we'll just go ahead and make ourselves one ender pearl. That gives us the total of three that we need, which is great. And everything else, I think I can just go ahead and clear out. So, let me get everything ready, and I'll be right back with you. Alright guys, I am back. So the last thing I'm doing is just making some of these hardened flux ducts, because we'll need to power the, uh, the receiver. But I'm just going to put it down right here. And once that thing is powered up, we should be able to go home and get our stuff and come back. Finally. Hopefully I didn't mess it up again, because if I did... I'm kind of in trouble. Uh, also, we've got some uh, quest rewards that we can claim, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll get some reward bags. And we got a walrus and some dirt. Really nothing too useful there. Um, let's just put this stuff away. I don't know what the walrus is even for. Can I just, like, plop him down? Cool. Yeah, it seems that way. And, whoa, our, our thing is overflowing. We'll have to... Hmm. I'll look into that in a minute. Let's just um, dump this stuff over here for now because I don't have a better idea. Okay, so let's go ahead and head back. All right, now, if I dial this, I should be able... To dial the overworld. And this should take me back home, right? Finally. Okay. Good. Whew. Well, that was way more trouble than it should have been. So now I gotta go and get everything from my base over there and bring it back. So let's see about getting uh, some sort of bags going. Some maybe Maybe golden bags of holding? Would be the way to go. I don't think I have enough gold for that, though. Um, let's see. How much gold do I have? 41. Actually, I might have enough. If I make, like, three or four golden bags of holding, that should be plenty. Although, I don't really have the string. Uh, or the wool. I need four wool for each. I've got the wool back there, though. Yeah, this will be fine. This will work. This will work. Okay. So let's make um, four chests like so. We'll dump you back in there. And then, ooh, that's not going to leave me enough gold, though. Maybe we'll just do three. There we go. Do I have any more gold in here? No, not yet. Okay. What else am I going to need? Diamonds. I've got that back there. All right. I think this should be everything I need to get uh, all of my stuff from the other dimension. So I'm going to head over there. 
And let's see, we're going to make the treacherous journey through all the spiders and nasty things. And we'll grab up this string as we go. I think we'll be okay. Now that we've got this all sorted out, though, and we've kind of got um, how RF tools dimensions work, and more importantly, how to make use of them and not get stuck in them, I think we'll be fine. Uh, this dimension, pretty useless, to be honest. That mining fatigue does not go away, no matter what. And once you dig down to a certain level, uh, you essentially just end up running into molten, uh, molten shadow iron, which really is also kind of useless in, in and of itself. So, it was like, eh. Oh, we do have tombstones. So I've got a tombstone somewhere in this dimension. I definitely have a tombstone here somewhere, I just don't know where. So I'll have to do some more looking after I, after uh, this is over to see if I can find it. Because I definitely, I mean, there was a tombstone right there. Obviously we can still have tombstones. Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and make some of these. Um, I do have a little bit more gold. And let's see, I believe it is like that. That'll be three. Yeah, I could make, I could make one more. I could make two more. If I do that, like so, that'll go up there. And there we go. Four golden bags of holding. I'll dye them later to, so I can tell them apart. But for now, let's just load all of my stuff up into these bags. And there's a lot of stuff. So now this might take a little bit, but that's okay. Um, let's actually go ahead and equip this iron arm. Oh, no, I've already got armor equipped. Never mind. Just kidding. Let's get all of this stuff. That one's full. We got a lot of goodies in this dimension, guys. We got a lot of really good stuff that we'll have to sort out once we're home. So that's not bad. That's a good... I mean, overall... Overall, it was good. And I mean, we did... I did learn some really important stuff about RF Tools dimensions, which I had never played around with before up until this point. So now I kind of understand how it works. So I think overall, I'm, I'm still going to call it a win. It was a good thing. But I am a little disappointed that uh, we lost a lot of stuff. Uh, and a lot of time. And most importantly of all, two lives. We lost two lives here. And that's, that's kind of un unfortunate. But, you know, it is what it is. What can you do? Uh, we did manage to kill a wither, though, and get the withers. And get the, uh, the nether star. And some of that kind of stuff. So... You know, all in all, I suppose it could have been a lot worse. And I think we've got everything out of all these chests. Yeah, we're ready to go ahead and head home. I'm just going to make a mad dash for it. I got to go this way. This way, run. And I still wish I knew where my tombstone went. But I, I as I said, I've been all over this dimension and didn't see it. So I don't know. I've got, like, all the spiders following me right now. Let's just keep running. We'll see, uh, we'll see what we can find. I don't know. Oh, man. Really, really disappointed about losing those two lives, though. That was... That's a lot of lives when you're playing a quest, when you're playing a mod pack where you only have limited lives. And I haven't really figured out a good way to get new lives. Not a, not a really good way to do it. So, maybe... A mob farm will be what we'll want to do ultimately. Go away. Go, no. No. Leave. I, I'm trying to teleport. I'm trying to teleport. There we go. Okay. So, we're back home. Let me get my inventory all cleaned up, guys. And I'll come back to you in just a little bit. Alright, guys. I am back. And I've got everything all cleaned up. And I think we are pretty much good to go. I'm going to go ahead. Let's see. We got a little bit of invar. Just chilling in here. I think we've managed our escape, which was a 
bit more challenging than I thought it was going to be. But you know what? I think we are pretty much out of time for this episode. I know this might be a little bit shorter for you guys, but this has been hours, hours upon hours for this episode, trying to get out of that annoying other dimension. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps up my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.